This is the Kokoni EC1 3D printer. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you change the filament out in it so that you can print in different colors. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Troy, this is Roadside RC. I've been dealing with this Kokoni EC1 3D printer for a few weeks now, I'm really enjoying it. I've printed some really fun stuff like my son's head, a vase, drone mounts, all these kind of things. Very versatile little printer when you're printing PLA for little small parts. One thing that people immediately had questions about was this somewhat unique proprietary filament holding system that the Kokoni printer does use and how do you change the filament out in it? So in today's video, we're gonna get into exactly how you do that. The first step is to have the printer fired up and warmed up. This has been sitting here for a few minutes now. It's gone through all of its initial checks. And now I have also connected into it through the app. So when you're at the home screen, you can click the connect to device, come down into it, and it'll show you the printer that you're connected to. There is a button here that says replace filament. And now it's gonna start walking us through this the first step is to find the new box so you do have to keep these boxes and potentially store your filament in the boxes when you're not in use because this QR code is what it wants to scan in order to tell it what filament you're going to be using in it next when we click the scan button it comes up to a QR code scanner and then it'll see what it does when it does that you can hear it immediately starts beeping it is now actually going to preheat the filament head down here itself, the heat block, so that we can actually, and then it'll start back filling this material out of here. This is gonna take a few minutes, so I'm gonna jump back in once it's on the other side of it. Now, I don't know if you can really see this, but it's actually, now that it's heated, it's actually backing the filament out. So there's a little spot right here where you can see this, it's actually turning the gears backwards in here, winding that spool back up. That's really good because then you're not going to be wasting a bunch of filament every time. But yeah, it's just slowly coming back. Man, I don't know if on the GoPro you'll be able to see that. It's a yellow, it's a yellow filament slowly coming out compared to the clear tube here, or the, the somewhat clear tube there. And it's going to back it all the way down in there. Okay, the filament's all the way down in here now. We go ahead and pull out this little white clip. Be very careful with it. Very easy to lose this little thing. You do not want to lose it. We're gonna push down on that black collar and pull this tube up. And you see, there's the, there's the rest of the filament sticking out there. We're gonna make sure that there's nothing left in this tube. We can then rotate this 90 degrees, pop the old filament all off. Now we get the new filament out. Note, not only is it wrapped cleverly in bubble wrap, you'll notice it's actually in a vacuum sealed package. For a lot of your 3D printing materials, this is very important. They do not like excess moisture or heat. That plastic, although you wouldn't think it, that plastic can actually absorb some moisture from the air. So if you're not using the filament, you do need to put it back into something like a Ziploc bag, or you can actually, I can leave you a link to Amazon down below where you can get some actual vacuum sealed bags to put these in. Now we're at the reverse of what we had before. So we're gonna line up these inputs and this gear. We're gonna click it down, turn this back 90 degrees to lock it into place. Insert the beginning of this filament into the tube you notice oh see look i'm already losing clips again so there's it actually comes with a new clip on it we're going to hold the black piece down while we shove this tube all the way in until it stops then put this clip back on the spare clip from the previous uh filament i'm going to go put it back on that filament's case now we click the next button and here the filament goes again i hope you can see that kind of red shade coming through there it's slowly now filling the tube up all the way through here. As it feeds that material in, watch down here because it'll actually squish some of that filament out. You can pull it out here and take a look at it. You can see I went from yellow to red with this switch. So it actually pushed out some of that yellow that was still in there. Got me some red. This is a grand opportunity to look at your nozzle up in here and how clean is it. You want your nozzle to stay really clean, otherwise it'll end up screwing up your prints. That is it. You're now ready to go ahead and 
print in this new color. I hope this was helpful for you. I had a couple comments and questions about this. So if you're concerned about this or have any issues troubleshooting doing it, let me know down below. I'll be happy to help as much as I can. Thank you for watching and goodbye.